Welcome everyone, we've got some incredibly exciting developments in the world of virtual augmented and extended reality today. From new Apple Vision Pro games to hand-tracking advancements for future MetaQuest headsets, a lot is happening in space. To start, multiple developers have proven it's possible to stream Steam VR content from a PC to Apple Vision Pro using an open-source wireless streaming app. While Steam VR games rely heavily on hand controllers that Vision Pro lacks, it shows the headset's streaming potential. Moving forward, we may see studios optimize games for Vision Pro's unique input methods. Speaking of which, the first native Vision Pro games have been revealed in trailers, offering a glimpse into the graphical capabilities and special gameplay opportunities afforded by Apple's cutting-edge eye and hand tracking. Titles like Dimeo and Rec Room are coming soon, but a few launch games are already here as more developers dive in. Vision Pro's gaming library will rapidly expand. In the world of established VR brands, MetaQuest developer Status Pro has scored a million NFL Pro era players across Quest and PSVR. Their accessible sports games have struck a chord earning follow-up investments from firms like Google Ventures. Sports games have breakthrough potential in VR based on this early success. For PC headset owners, Valve's Steam Next Fest is highlighting upcoming games across genres with free demos. Filter for the VR tag and you'll find around 20 titles to experience firsthand. Previews range from social hangout spaces to visually stunning kayaking sims and post-apocalyptic action RPG hybrids. This festival always surfaces gems in development. Transitioning to hardware innovations, Ultra Leap has teamed up with manufacturer Amdor VR to create a new reference design for mixed reality headsets with built-in advanced hand tracking. By eliminating the need for external sensors, future MR headsets can be simplified and made more affordable. Ultra Leap is a leader in reliable, out-of-the-box hand tracking so this collaboration signals positive strides on that front. And for current MetaQuest owners, an inspired indie game called Dragon Fist VR Kung Fu is coming soon, letting you fight with physics-based martial arts techniques straight out of classic 70s films. Challenge friends or AI in co-op and versus modes with a cast of unique fighters. This could become a top-rated quest combat experience for the Bruce Lee fan in all of us. As you can see, there are some highly anticipated developments across VR, AR, and XR platforms. We'll be keeping a close eye on all of it, from the gradual advancements of hardware capabilities to the incoming wave of new software lineup. What part of today's news are you most excited by? Let me know in the comments. Moving right along to more great headlines in the immersive tech space, the popular VR MMORPG Zenith The Last City has announced a major shift to a free-to-play model coming soon. This rebrand of Zenith Nexus introduces a new adventure mode called Infinite Realms with procedural generation and co-op, while the original Last City campaign will remain paid DLC. The change aims to boost the player base and provide ongoing revenue to support further development. As an ambitious VR title, this shift could secure Zenith's longevity. For developers, the company behind the VR rhythm game Synth Riders has acquired a full-body motion tracking startup called Wooger. Adding precise tracking of players' movements opens new gameplay opportunities and takes immersion to the next level. We may see this integrated into future Synth Riders updates or entirely new products. For academic researchers, an international team has developed an AI system called Text-to-Scene and automatically generates realistic 3D indoor scenes from written descriptions. This could drastically simplify VR and metaverse creation. The AI uses a large dataset to understand relationships between scene elements and produce layouts that properly connect rooms and objects. As AI assists more creative workflows, rapid virtual world building is coming. On the lighter side, footage has emerged of Meta employees playtesting a unique social deduction game for the Quest Pro that's akin to Spy Party meets Werewolf or Mafia. Players try to spot the covert android in a holographic face-to-face -face setting. This hybrid VR take on popular hidden role party games seem like a perfect fit for AR glasses 
as the Quest Pro gains traction in corporate settings. Experimental concepts like this may catch on. And rounding things out with some quick additional headlines, location-based VR startup Sandbox VR has been acquired in a $30 million fire sale. The leader of Apple's VR divisions has left the company shortly after Vision Pro's launch. VR meditation app Trip has raised $11 million for expansion beyond relaxation into mental health treatment. And that wraps up the news in immersive technologies of this week. Of all these stories, I want to know which one did you personally find more interesting? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below.